I asked him a story. I saw him talking to Eddie Murphy one game, right? And I always watch this game. I'm like, Nate. <laughs> I'm like, Nate. I'm like, Nate. No, I knew you were talking to him. Like, what was you saying to him? Because I love Eddie Murphy. I'm like, what was you saying to him? He said, Ma, every time down court, I was doing a different character from the movies he was in. <laughs> Come on in here and check it out. There's a lot of stuff in here you'd be like, wow. This is what you first see. Ooh, look at that, boy. A lot of ass kicking from here, boy. We want to see it all, bro. All right, here we go. House Guest Quarantine Edition. We back, baby. Guys, you know what it is, House Guest. What's up, bro? This is Seattle, Washington special House Guest. We're here in my city. And guess what? We got a special guest for you. A guy that I played on the team with from high school, grew up idolizing, uh, won the sixth man of the year award a couple times. Y'all know exactly who this man is, Mr. Jamal Crawford. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what's up, bro? Hey, bro. Good, good. good. Yes, Ready to eat? Let's do it. You're still young, I see. Trying to look it. Yes, sir. Come right on up here, yes, man. Sir. Quick story, guys. So before I got my bread from the league, you know, the league don't pay you until like November around this, around this time. But uh, we go through training camp, and after training camp, we come back home, and I didn't have no place to stay. Ma was like, "Well, you know, you can stay with me until you start getting paid." In an apartment, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Ma had a nice apartment. It was right? nice. It was, it was nice an apartment. apartment. So Ma let me stay there, man. And one day he went out and got. I think he went to like Target downstairs or something. And uh, I rearranged all his furniture. <laughs> Classic name. The way I thought it was like, man, this look better like this. He came back, his whole apartment looked totally different. When <laughs> I came back story. and he was rearranging my furniture, I'm like, Nate, it's time. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta go. Bro. But it was classic Nate. It was, it was, it was classic. It was hilarious. Nate. I lived in the South End, and then I used to go watch you guys play. And I remember a game when you dribbled the ball backwards. Yeah. Dudes behind you, you've driven backwards and you turn around and shot it and ran down the court, didn't even look, and it went in. I was like, oh yeah, I, I wanna I wanna play with him. I, I, I wanna be able to do, do that coming down the court. That looked fun. Beach Boy Nation, like, what did it feel like winning a being a senior and winning a state championship? Like winning a getting a state championship before yeah. you left. What was that like? That was the only championship I've ever won in my life, so that was like my best basketball memory to this day, not the six mans, not the points, records, not nothing else. Like winning that state championship was the best feeling ever. Like it was, it was unbelievable. And it, we, we were just talking about this. To this day, we had the state tournament record for attendance. There was almost 70,000 people that came and watched us in the four days. That was crazy. Yeah, it was the last one at the Kingdom. So everybody like really took into it. We had Gary Payton and Sean Kemp and Ben Baker and Rashard Lewis, all these dudes coming to our high school games. Yeah, like that we was, were a that hot ticket crazy. in town, <laughs> in high school. Yeah, that was crazy. Right, I, I so that. winning the state championship, it was unbelievable. You will only see one Nate the Great. Like, this dude, basketball state player of the year, football state player of the year in the same year, and on the hurdles record, up until recently? Yeah, like two years ago, I think some kid just beat about and, one and he can dance. Second. Like the guy can dance like that too. Like this guy, this guy, this guy can do anything. So I asked him a story. I saw him talking to Eddie Murphy one game, right? And I always watch this game. I'm like, Nate. I'm like, Nate. To? I'm like, Nate. No, I knew you were talking to him. Oh. What was you saying to him? Because I love Eddie Murphy. I'm like, what was you saying to him? He said, Ma, every time down court, I was doing a different character from the movies he was in. <laughs> I was. Every time, every time I made a bucket, I was crazy, crazy. I said, every time down court, I was doing a different, a different Eddie Murphy impersonation. I'm like, man, I said, only you. I really only, was. And everybody that knows Nate knows only Nate, right? So to me, <laughs> and I say this, and I say it, and I said this, and I don't know if you know this. I said, Nate Robinson is one of the best players I've ever seen come to this city. Like, everybody talks about certain guys all the time. I appreciate that, Mark. I've never seen nobody like this dude. Like, he's one of the best players I've ever seen come to here. Period. And it will be. I don't see anybody doing what he did in that kind of talent. Like myself, Brandon Roy, Will Conroy, uh, Alvin Snow, Spencer Halls, we took everybody we could to team up to try to beat this little dude. Because none of us was going to beat him one on one. So we had to, get, we had to bring the, the gang. Was, like we brought the well, gang speaking, to come speaking, beat him. Speaking of like we played in different tournaments in Seattle, <laughs> that's what we do. One thing we do, we love to compete against each other, yeah. whether it's shooting drills, yeah. one on ones, five on five, we just would love to compete. So I remember one time, quick story about Maul, one time, 
So whenever I see Maul when I play against him, I pick him up full court. I'm like, cause I know, cause I'm like, I got a, a, a you know, a height advantage. Maul taller. So one day, Maul, no lie, he gave me like 74 points one game. And it's, I think it's what your third you year. You had your third, you had it was your third year of his of his of his pro am. We had it at Rainer Beach. At our whole high school. Maul had 74 points on me, and all he did was run to the block, catch, turn around, and shoot. He made when I say every shot, almost every shot contested. I was that was one day that I was so mad at him one day because he really just I see was he hot. thought see we played against each other so much <laughs> and I know he's so fast and so quick and so strong. Nate can guard people with his back turn, which is I've never seen nobody do that, right? So I'm like I'm not gonna dribble the ball on him no more. I'm, I have a whole new plan for him. He doesn't know it's coming and he's so prideful. He's not gonna call a double team. He's nope. not gonna he's not gonna <laughs> say I'm taking somebody else. So I'm like I'm going to post every single time. Every time and he stood by and I was like he was off the backboard, fadeaway jumper. I was like oh my god. But, but you made me better though. I say that a lot. Like I appreciate that. You made me better. I thought B. Roy made me better. You know what I mean? I thought Dubs C made me better, but you really made me better because I'm like, how am I gonna try to compete against this dude? Like, how am I? Like, he's not like nothing I've seen before. So I don't, most dudes are 6'5 or 6'4 or 6'3. Like, how am I gonna, I've never seen this, so how am I gonna figure this out? And I couldn't figure you out. And I've talked to other players that are in the NBA who've made all stars, and they was like, man, Nate, I couldn't figure him out. I cannot figure this dude out. You know what I mean? And that part, I think the, the peers' respect goes a lot further than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, at the I end of the day. Because we actually line up against each other. You know what I mean? You know who's real, who's not. Right. Are we ever going to get a team back, bro? I like, think so, bro. I think so. I really, I talked to I mean, they're redoing the key arena. I saw that. Yeah, so that was a big thing. I think getting a hockey team was a big thing. And then from there, I think we'll eventually get a team. I don't want to see anybody else lose their team because we know how that felt. What? But we deserve to get a team back, and I'm sure we will in the next. Five you think years. they're gonna do an expansion team just for us? No way. I don't know if it'd be just for us, but if it makes dollars, it makes sense. You know how the business works. I mean, that, yeah, that, right? that's definitely. But and man. we show we have a great fan base. Seeing the Seahawks, seeing the Sounders. My next question: seeing Would you storm. coach? No. What? No. The Sounders want Jamal Crowder to come down and help coach. You're not nah, gonna but I would help put the team together. So I'd rather be in the front office side. Okay. Yeah. Right. Nah, I'd be in the front, front office. office. I'll let you coach, and I'd be in the front office side. Yeah, so you tell me what you need, tell me the pieces you need, and I'll bring it to you, and then you just coach it. <laughs> 19 years in, bro. What, you scored 50, how many teams you put on? Four. Four different teams? Nobody's ever done that? Nobody's ever done that. Okay, how many six men in uh, Three. Here? Three six mans, and you should have been at least four all-stars, for sure. At least four. I'll say four. I'm going to say at least I'm gonna say I'm gonna give you four because you're my big bro, and I don't think there's nobody that around that can do what you do, especially off the bench when you took your hat off and was like, all right, I'll come off the bench when you should be starting. Yeah, that's true. Like that's tough. That's you know tough. what I'm saying? For you to be, you gotta change a, your whole mindset. Exactly. So, like you know, like you gotta man. really be like, I'm putting the team first. Whatever the team is, I'm out. I'm stepping outside myself. Whatever the team is, I'll do it. Are you I'm gonna, gonna stay ready. Like, you stay yeah, ready? I'm staying ready. But even like if it ends this year, if it ends next year, whenever it ends. Like, I, I, I'm gonna be around my community. I'm gonna be around help my sons, be with my family, obviously. And I'm gonna be around basketball in some capacity. I love it too much not to. So I'm gonna say this. I say that to say this. <laughs> Segue. If you don't get called up, the big three will definitely love to have you down for, you know, Ice Cube. Big three, shout out to the big three, man. You gotta, you gotta plug. You gotta plug the big three. So, I mean, you know, it's always love, man. One man's trash, another man's treasure. You always I've been come watching, play though. the big three, bro. It's so much fun. I've been, you've been saying it. I've been watching. I, I went to, to the big three when I came to Seattle. I'm trying to get you on my team so we can get the Seattle Ooh, okay. connection. Well, how about, how about if I do play in that, I'm playing in it? I'm with that. For sure. I'm going to give up my, third I'm give up my captain spot just so you make sure you're on the team. No. We straight. Right. We're gonna we gonna win it all. That's when we gonna that's when we're gonna win the championship together. Okay. We're gonna win that. We be three. Mark Crawford coming, we're gonna be on the team, it's gonna be over. I'm telling y'all, y'all know what it is. But hey, that wraps it up, Mar. Thank you very much for on, doing bro. this uh house guest episode, bro. It's uh this big is special time house I get guest. to yeah, special this house guest. I get to sit guest. with my big bro. Y'all know what it is. This is my big bro, Mark Crawford, house guest, man. That's a wrap. Yeah, you know. Nate Wings. She almost wanted to jump in on that dap. You should have saw that. That's like, oh, that was dope. <laughs> he was like, oh, that was dope. That's the man, that Fresh Prince. Oh